Welcome back everybody. It is time for another little Glios toy review. Now today I'm a little bit behind because I still haven't reviewed and looked over the brand new God Beast drop that happened a couple weeks back, the Hornet Squad. They've just been sitting in a box on my desk. I haven't had a chance to film. Things are getting busy. So on and so on. Excuses, excuses. You get the picture. So let's go check out some awesome new God Beast Glios. Here we go. We've got the two little Glios guys that I got in. I didn't get everything this time around for the drop, but I did get two very cool ones. First up, we're going to look at the Hornet Squad Bio Monster Mutant Dude. He's going to be looking real fresh once he's all set up. So let's go ahead and pull him out and do that. Bada bing, bada boom. There he is. Our nice little Hornet Squad Monster. Check him out. Went for a Kind of a little different vibe for the little build here this isn't how it's usually set up but i thought it looked kind of neat i thought it looked kind of cool get the little wings as kind of like weird appendage arm things or something i don't know either way let's check this guy out in a little bit more detail check out all that nice purple and red paint job on this guy really pops really stands out quite nicely as you can see all the other stuff is here it's our beautiful little bio mutant monster. He looks freaking sick. I love the purple and the black. They just look incredibly sharp. And the highlights of red really add to it too. I'll be honest, it looks really fresh. I'm uh, I'm digging it. I kind of wanted to get two of these guys, but I couldn't I couldn't afford it this time, you know. I just couldn't, but that's okay. They do still have these guys in the shop, so if you do want to go get one of these Hornet Squad bad boys, I would suggest you go over there and do it before he runs out of them. All right, he can set to the side. Let's look at the other thing I got, which is the Super XD or DX Mushi. It's the Super Advanced Giant version with a ton of extra parts and pieces. Let's get it open here so we can kind of check everything out. Now, we went into these accessories kind of last time, but we got like these shields, nice little blocky parts and all these. We got like extra claws, extra appendages, and like, I don't know, just really cool kind of like weapony type stuff you can do with these. There's like an axe blade in here too. The classic like O'Neill pack type deal where it has just the nice little ball joints and such. We actually get two of those. And then these, check these out. We've got our wings and our swords and our other little pieces, but we've got this nice translucent purple with this little kind of glitter effect. Looks phenomenal. Looks like an absolute banger. I just absolutely love them. I had to get the big version of the Mushi because I had to get these parts right here. That's why I got it. And then of course we have the Mushi with his little buddy in here too. So let's pull him out. We do have the nice little bug head piece here. Very sharp and cool with the same colorway. Where's the little buddy? Here he is. He's red and black. No, it's a bummer there's no purple. I mean, his eyes are purple, but I kind of would have liked to have seen maybe his, I don't know, his head purple and arms and then the highlights of red. But that's okay, he still looks sweet. And here is the lovely Hornet Squad Mushi, just the regular old Mushi with that purple and red looking phenomenal. Uh, the purple is, uh, it's both equal parts, I think, from purple to red as far as like what's highlighted, what's not. Pretty equal as far as like the Bio Monster dude, he's got a bit more purple on him because of the wings and stuff like that. But the Mushi looks excellent. I love, I didn't comment on this yet, but I love the metallic -y black sheen that he did on this colorway it looks excellent it looks absolutely phenomenal it just got it has this really nice kind of like textured effect this marbling going on but as you can see he's dope he looks really cool but since this is all i got and i really really want to build with these pieces we're gonna get a build going here now god beast does have his own build for the big EX or DX Mushi, the super advanced one with all the extra parts. He's got a build here, as you can see, it is pretty freaking dope. I have yet to build one of these myself, but I did happen across some inspiration on the Instagrams from other Glyos builders. I found another build that uses all these parts, or at least most of them, that just looks super cool. So I'm actually gonna base it off that. I'm gonna build this one right here. As you can see, this will be my point of reference of what we will be building. So let's crack into all these extra pieces and let's get a little sped up time montage going and we'll build this guy out.
Wow, okay, that took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take, but there it is, there is the build. It looks pretty freaking dope. I have to make sure it's fully stabilized a little bit. I think I'm gonna redo the sword. It's a bit oversized for our guy here, but it does look pretty sick. It's got, uh, it's got some cool stuff going on with it. I love the shield. I added in the wings, those weren't on the thing, but I really wanted to add the wings in. Looks really sweet. And this part actually, I don't know, some people have it like flipped this way. I don't know which way looks better. To be honest, I think that does look a lot better. Yeah, there we go. Because you're not really supposed to see the eyes of that head because this is supposed to be the head. So there it is. All right, so there. It looks pretty freaking dope. And that is the little build you can do with these guys and all these parts. It's crazy crazy amount of possibilities. That was my first time actually building with a ton of these parts and there are so much left over still. There's a whole bunch back here that's left. Like I, I could build like another axe or something with the axe parts. I mean the possibilities are endless. I don't know. There's so many cool unique parts to like kind of just snap in and build with. I don't even know what I'm doing with this. I'd have to look at the parts more but you can see what I mean. There's just a ton back here. There's a whole extra shield you can use but other than that the build looks Pretty freaking dope. The arms are falling out a little bit easy, but that is pretty sweet. I love it. I can't wait to build with some of my other ones I have that I haven't even opened up yet. It'll be a lot of fun. We'll take one more look at the figures and I will flash God Beast website up here at the top of the screen. Once again, all these are still in stock, but you're gonna wanna go support Marty, support what he's got in the store. If you like these guys, the Hornets, they're super cool. Get them before they sell out. I know I'm a little bit late, but I did check before I filmed Everything is still available as of right now. So hopefully by Wednesday when this video releases, there will still be stuff in the store for you guys. Go get some of these amazing looking glass. I highly recommend all these extra parts. They're super dope. There's so much you can do. It's ridiculous. The Hornets look fantastic though, Marty. Great job with these guys. Sorry I'm a little late on the review here this time, but ah, man, it was worth the wait for sure. These guys look amazing. That's going to do it for the video. I appreciate it. If you stayed all the way to the end, if you enjoy the Glios content, make sure to leave a little like, make sure to subscribe, stay tuned for more, and we will catch you guys in the next video.